Summit 2018 Live Updates, May in Canada to Defend Trump as World Fears Trade Snub World leaders from the group of the seven richest nations are set for a dramatic showdown with the firebrand Republican as they pressure him to lift levies on steel and aluminium. Theresa May looks set to play a diplomatic go-between role as she tries to keep tensions from simmering over. Last night she called from restraint from the European Union, which is set to unveil its own list of tariffs on U.S. exports in retaliation. The confrontation threatens to rupture a body that during its 43-year history has traditionally sought to find consensus on the economy and other issues. President Trump launched an attack on host leader Canadian PM Justin Trudeau on Thursday night, describing him as indignant with officials predicting the mood is likely to be exceptionally tense. A Canadian official said, there will be some serious disagreements on a lot of things. Although Mr. Trump insists the tariffs are necessary to protect U.S. industry, Canada and EU chiefs have denounced them as illegal. Mr. Trump's decision to impose 25 percent levy on all imports of steel and 10 percent on aluminium imports from the EU, Canada and Mexico sparked fears of an all-out trade war. French President Emmanuel Macron called for leaders to be civil at the summit on Thursday. But he is clearly losing patience with the U.S. president, suggesting the other six members of the G7 could form their own grouping if necessary. While Prime Minister Theresa May British Prime Minister Theresa May took a more measured tone, as she called for any response to be proportionate and legal. But Mr. Trump showed no sign of backing down on Thursday first taking to Twitter to accuse both France and Canada of imposing massive tariffs on U.S. goods and then accusing Trudeau of being so indignant. Canadian bosses hit back saying that the Prime Minister and the President have very frank, direct, candid, honest conversations. The officials said Mr. Trudeau and Mr. Trump are due to meet on Friday and they will have lots to talk about. The White House subsequently announced the president would be leaving the two-day summit early on Saturday to fly to Singapore for a meeting with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un.